what is inside of you is yours. You are a sovereign being. And we all have like a vault, which is our personal integrity, our personal knowledge, our personal value, our personal worth, everything that we have learned, everything that we are. We need to protect completely for ourselves as sovereign beings so that we can contain our wealth, so that we can contain what we've learned, so we can contain who we are digitally and physically such that it cannot be touched by somebody else. It is free of crime. It is free of corruption. It is what we have learned in our life, the lessons we have learned. Now that is your story. Right now, you're talking to a wizard, me, who's inviting you into an adventure in order to save the world. You see, you're a lot like this guy living in Hobbiton. And Hobbiton is very far away from Mordor. And if you've ever seen Lord of the Rings, you know the difference between Hobbiton and Mordor. Where do you want to live? Which side do you want to be on? You want to be on the side that wants war, wants to attack, wants to punish, wants to take over, wants to have those not of them to be oppressed? Or do you want to be, you know, living in Hobbiton with other people interested in beer and potatoes and carrots and uh, no fighting? And there might be some gossiping in the background, but most people are pretty peaceful and having a pretty damn good life with all that pipe weed and all that beer around. See, wizards are telling the story. They are the ones inviting you to the adventure. They are the ones pointing to the need of the moment and saying, join this adventure because we need your help. So in the very secret plan, you form a team of four planetary guardians. This becomes your key media team. And this becomes the way that you make your mark in the world. You can combine teams to create a two team or a nine team or an eight team, depending upon how you structure it. But it's up to you how you grow and how you form your larger team, the network. Right now here on earth, we have a ring problem. We have something that is looking to destroy and take over our entire world in a way that leaves the individual feeling helpless and hopeless. And so right now, we need to understand how to come together on teams and to bring out our superhero powers. Love is a pretty good concept. I think if most people are feeling loved and loving other people a lot in their lives, you're going to have a pretty good life. And so that's one of the main barometers and let's say the new paradigm is how love do you feel and how much love are you giving out to others? And so that's something which every human being can do all the time and check themselves and, and realize if that's your highest value, if that's something you believe in the most, if that's something which you go, this is going to give me a good life, then be it, do it, feel it, see it. In all forms, put your attention upon love. Put your attention upon whatever love means to you. It's very different having that warm feeling in your heart about yourself and other people versus feeling bitter and disappointed and angry. To get there, most of us, has, most of us have healing to do. And healing is one of these 72 conversation types to hold space so that the people in the conversation can express their pain. We all have a lot of pain. We all have a lot of loss, disappointment, and all of the negative energy and experiences that have accumulated within ourselves that have not been healed. This we call collectively the shadow. And our species has a shadow and our larger collectives have shadows. And that is what we're dealing with right now, individually, on teams, as a community, and also as a species, is how to take this shadow and transform it into our gifts and go through a collective evolution together as human beings.